This is a 3D model of a 17 year old boy who had a road traffic accident. This model has been created from the CT images, the DICOM images of the CT scan of a pelvis of this boy. You can have a look at the nature of injury that the boy suffered. It's an anterior posterior compression type of injuries and there is a disruption of the pelvic ring, both anteriorly as well as posteriorly. You can have a look on how this posterior SI joint is disrupted on this side. The CT scans normally do give us a fair amount of information on what the fracture is like. But having this thing in hand ensures that one can plan his surgery, do a surgical simulation and also sometimes help detect unknown injuries. In this particular case, normally a person would miss this posterior injuries at the SI joint. He also had a fracture of acetabulum. This is a posterior column of acetabulum fracture. This is the sciatic nausea. This is the ileum. This is the issue tuberosity. And this is where the column fracture. Now, once that was done, and another model was created to just highlight this posterior column fracture. This is a model which is almost a real size model of uh, the acetabular fracture that the kid suffered and you can look here on how these columns are separated here this is the femoral head this is the ischial tuberosity this is sciatic notch this is the ileum and this plate was then contoured with the help of these standard templates which are available now the surgeon can place the template here and do a pre-contouring of his plate in this fashion. Once that is done, the actual implant can also be molded. And once that's done, the screw trajectories can be planned. So in this case, we planned this trajectory like these, and we decided to skip these holes. Ensuring that you had this template ETO'd, as well as this model ETO'd onto the table, the sterile model would help interoperatively judge your fracture reduction also once again reconfirm your trajectories and help in placement of the implants. Normally this would shave off a significant amount of time from your operative um, procedure and of course the benefits would be reduced blood loss, reduced anesthesia requirement and of course less morbidity.